Okay, so I wanted to talk about a particular type of inequality that involves division by x, because it may be a little bit trickier than it first looks. So it says here, find the set of values for which 6 over x is greater than 2, and it says that x cannot be equal to 0, otherwise we would have this division by 0 over here, which we know can't be done. So the temptation would be to do this, that you have 6 over x is greater than 2. And so we know what I'm going to do. I'm going to multiply both sides by x. I'll multiply this by x and I will multiply this side by x so that I get that 6 is greater than 2x. But there is a possible problem here because when you are multiplying by x, like we've got in this section here and here, we could be multiplying by a negative number. And if you remember from what I said before, multiplying or dividing by a negative number, it will switch the direction of the inequality. Okay, so because these x's that I've multiplied could be negative, because it could be a positive number or a negative number, we can't really do that in case it's actually going to have the switching around that might happen. So the way we get around this is we multiply by x squared instead, because x squared will always be positive. So instead of multiplying both sides, by x as this may be negative we multiply by x squared as x squared is always positive or really I should say actually greater than or equal to zero so multiplying by x squared is going to be the trick. So I have 6 over x, and I'm going to say that it is greater than 2. Now I'm going to multiply this side by x squared, so I'm going to have x squared multiplying here, and I'm going to multiply this side by x squared. That's definitely not going to do anything illegal. Now this side, I have 6x squared divided by x, that's just going to be 6x, and this side is 2x squared. Now this is a quadratic, so I'm going to change this to a quadratic by putting it all onto one side. So I'm going to have 2x squared minus 6x. However you want to solve that quadratic, you can just go ahead and solve that. Uh, I can see what the answers are going to be easily, but I'm just going to use my equation solver so that the solutions are that x is 3 or x is 0. I'll then do my quick sketch, so I have 0 and 3. Whoops, and I remember everything going upwards is greater than zero, everything below that line is less than zero. And I want it to be less than zero, so the part of the graph that I'm interested in is this bit underneath, and so the values are between zero and three. So let's actually see that if that's going to work. I'm going to say that it's now going to be that x is between zero and three. But I want to put it in set notation, so I'm going to say x such that x is between 0 and 3. Now let's just see if this works. If I put in a number like, I don't know, let's try a negative number. Let's try x equals negative 1. Well, I would have 6 over negative 1. I would have minus 6 is greater than 2. Well, that's good. That's not true. So that's outside the range. So I was expecting that to happen. If I tried a number that was bigger, like x equals 4, well, I would have 6 divided by 4, which is 1.5, and it would say that 1.5 is bigger than 2, which also isn't right. So those numbers outside the range don't work, and if you tried any of those numbers inside the range, then they would work. Okay, So it's always good if you want to. You can substitute some numbers in. Um, but the main thing for this one is what I've got written here. Instead of multiplying both sides by x, we multiply both sides by x squared instead. Okay, now you can have a go exercise 3e, question 4.